Welcome back to Land the House. In this video, I'm partnered with Flexi Mounts to install the wall-mounted corner shelf. This is a 2x4 shelf that holds up to 440 pounds. Now, I believe it's actually um, an L-shaped, so uh, it's actually two shelves. But let's open the box and see how well this installs. The first thing I like to point out is that the box is rather heavy, so if you have the chance to pick this up with somebody else, I would recommend that. And here is the contents of the box. I have two shelves that are two foot by four foot, have four of the triangular mounting brackets, have a installation template, an instruction manual, and a couple bags of hardware. Have some of these anchor bolts or lag bolts. These are for concrete installation, some washers, and then a bag with a level, Allen wrench, another wrench, and some more hardware. I'm going to be using this corner to install the shelf and the first step is to take the template with level and mark out the location of um, where you're going to drill but uh, I'm finding that this level right here that installs on the template doesn't uh, match up with my level here so I'm going to use this one this might be just fine but I just want to make sure so the first step see if I can get out of the way so you can see it here is to take the template and place it against the back wall. Now, you do have to have 16 inch on center studs for this to work. I know my stud is back here on this back wall and let's get this level, okay, right there. And now I'm just gonna take a pencil and mark out the location of these holes. Okay, and now I can take my uh, drill and go ahead and drill out these. I have a 3 16 drill bit on my drill and I'm just going to drill holes into these studs. Now that I have the holes drilled here in my wall, it's time to get these triangular mounting brackets installed. Now you'll notice that the top hole here has the option for this bolt and washer to slide through. And that way you don't have to hold this in place while attaching this top anchor bolt. Now the kit does come with a wrench, but I'm going to be using a socket set to make this easier. So I'm just going to place this top anchor bolt here into position and start ratcheting away. Now that I have the top bolt installed, I can go ahead and slip this bracket into position. There we go. And now I can start installing the second bolt here. I'm just doing the same, or I'm just gonna ratchet this down here. And that completes the first step. Now I noticed that it was a little bit difficult to find the correct height to match these up with, but after a little bit of work, I managed to get all of them set correctly. And what I mean by height is I did these first and then moved over to the second one. And so I had to find the correct height between this right here, but it seems to be doing well. Now take note that I built this building myself and uh, that corner back there is where it should be. It's going to correct itself in just a bit. The next step is to get the shelf itself installed into place. So I'm just going to pick this up here. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but I suppose that's what we're looking for in a good strong shelf. Now that the shelf is installed on these brackets, it's time to get the hardware installed here. It comes with several carriage bolts with some locking nuts. One thing I found that I like about this a lot is that it's very forgiving. There is room to adjust uh, for instances like mine where my building's not totally square. So I can just push this into place and it has a place um, slots up here that allow um, for 
mistakes. So if your two by fours are not exactly 16, you can move a little bit to the side and be okay. I'm gonna take the carriage bolt up from the top and slide this down here. And then just use the locking nut here. Now the carriage bolt has a square head on it that keeps it in place so that you can use your wrench to tighten this down. Don't have to have any other tool up above to get this going. Okay, time to walk the second shelf up here into place. And hopefully I've got everything leveled off well enough that it's gonna do a good job here. Okay, nice. That's really nice. Things are matching up well. Now, to connect the two pieces together here, there is a different kind of uh, bolt, and that has the Allen wrench connection here. So that's just gonna be used so you can tighten on one side with the socket set, or the wrench that came with this, and use the Allen wrench on the other side. So I'm just going to match up my holes up here. And then put one of these locking bolts on the locking nuts on the back side and just get this tightened. Here's a better angle with that bolt and allen wrench and it's just going to slip into this hole right up in here and then I can take a locking nut on the back side Now here's a case where using the tool that was provided would be difficult. You just have to uh, use the tool and lock it down here and spin with your Allen wrench and it would just take quite a while. So if you have a socket set, I highly recommend you use that for this because it's going to go a whole lot faster. And the shelves are done. Here's a look from the underside. So far, I like these shelves a lot. I'm really enjoying the low profile too. Let's head up the ladder and look at the top side here. There we go. Seems to be a nice sized hole on those. Not too much is gonna be falling through. Very nice. I really appreciate how easy it is to attach all of the hardware. Now these shelves advertise being able to hold 220 pounds each. I weigh 220 with my clothes on, so let's see if it'll hold me up here on the edge. Uh, yep, didn't really see any flex either, so that's definitely a good thing. It'll hold at least uh, 220 pounds across the two of them. So I'm convinced that it would hold the full 400. Um, I don't know of anything that I have that's going to be stored up here more than like 200 pounds across each, but at least I have the assurance that it's going to hold that much weight. So my thoughts on the Flexi Mounts corner wall shelf. I like it a lot. Very strong, very easy to install. The hardest part of the whole thing was matching up the holes from this side to this side. Had to make sure I measured correctly. Now my building is not square and so I was able to work around that because the slots here allow for about a half inch or so of an adjustment left and right on both shelves. So definitely very forgiving. Very strong. I was able to hold myself up at 220 pounds so I'm confident I can put at least that much on there with no problems. If you want to check out Flexi Mounts, they have um, various different um, storage options for either through the roof or on the wall or in the corner. Um, I'll have the link to their website in the description down below. If you've got some comments, write those. I'd love to read them. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.